Hello and welcome. Welcome to a new day in Stratford Point Avon. <laughs> We're still here. We're still here. <laughs> it's absolutely belting it down still. Yeah, let me get this above us both. Uh, we're just at a loose end now because we've done what we were going to do in yesterday's video and we're yeah. just wandering around looking for other things. If you haven't watched that, go back to yesterday's video. Watch all the Stratford one. ones because yes. it's a brilliant place. Yes. We're loving it. And we're still here for another day or so. so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we just got into this bit, which we didn't yeah, see I yesterday. Didn't see this bit yesterday. This is proper eating place. Now you've got a Nando's there. You wouldn't go in Nando's when you've got all these other things to choose from. Oh no, I love that Nando's. But there's something there called Burger Priest. I've never heard of it. Burger that. Priest, yeah. Here, ask Italian where they do stone baked pizza, which I could really eat right now, Mazzy. <laughs> and behind us is Kung Fu. Oh, I bet that's uh, all you can eat. Well, Monday to Friday, £9.50, lunch special. I bet that's a week for me, do you think? I don't know. It's empty. Yeah, it's got loads of uh, things Food at the back. Food trays at the back, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, right, it's very so nice down here. It's very exclusive, doesn't it? It is. Which way would you like to go, Maddie? I don't know, I'm just <laughs> loving everywhere. <laughs> You're not oh. having any? More fudge? You've had some. <laughs> Well, this is where Dan got it from the other night when he got me some. I did last night. I came here and I got some Rollies fudge pantry fudge. Yeah. Very nice. Still got some left as well, haven't we? I'll tell you what, it was a really good quality homemade fudge. It was actually really, really nice. Mm. Yeah. It's just opposite where William Shakespeare was born. <laughs> you know that now. Yeah, I know that now. <laughs> this does look very nice, doesn't yeah, it, Yeah, this is lovely. We're, we're looking in the window. <laughs> window it's shopping. Cake, cake, yeah. It's uh, cream teas and cakes <coughs> and stuff. I'm just looking at the cakes in here. They're not bad at all, you know, to take away. It's only £2.75 yeah. for a slice of lovely looking cake. They also do like these lunch um, cream, teas. cream teas per person. I think that's Good. That does look nice. Handmade traditional pork pie with a little salad on it, six ninety five. That's good price. And the best looking giant scones you've ever seen in your life. How messy would that be? You'd have to get one just for a laugh, wouldn't you? Look at them lovely wrapped things down yeah, here. Yeah, these plates, like these would suit me and you in bed, wouldn't they? <laughs> that is lovely. That is so good. We might, we might, we might go there, there before we leave Stratford. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> The building's nice as well. Just turn them around, just show them a little building. It is. It's like being in. Uh, it's like going back into the 1960s or something. Yeah, I remember, I remember passing here yesterday. It was packed, so mm. you'd want to get there early. It's right next to White Stuff and Costa Coffee. <laughs> yeah, we're Costa just wandering. <laughs> we're just wandering, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we're, but we're enjoying, enjoying wandering. It. Yeah. Sometimes you. You know, because we have been pretty much all around the town now. Yes. Sometimes when you've been around, you think, right, I've had enough now, let's go back to the van. But we're just going, to, enjoying going to places we've already seen. And can I explain why on that? Because we were talking about this last night, weren't we? What? We felt you needed to go up and down the street a couple of times. Yeah. Because you don't get to see, you think you get to see it all, but you don't. And this is the second time round, you'll definitely find something that you never saw. Indeed. Like up there. Yeah, I've just noticed that myself. <laughs> Dispensing chemist, but look how they spelt chemist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go back up here. Yeah. An amazing looking sweet shop, Mazzy. Yeah. Wilfrid's of Stratford. Sweets and chocolate. And they've got a vegan range and sugar-free range, which is which is really good because I particularly know people with allergies and stuff like that as well. So that's good. Well, you know what I say, don't you? What? If you're allergic to sugar, don't go to a sweet shop. <laughs> Check these out, look. These are like... I like the look of this Jaws feeding I like time. Back <laughs> to the Future, look. It's all old stuff, is that? No. I never remember no. these. Blue Kit Kats. Blue Kit those? Kats, no. So there's some vegan, look. Vegan fizzy cola bottles, Mazzy, yeah. that's what you need. Yeah, I do. They're my favourite Coke bottles, aren't they? I love those. Uh, sugar free. Yeah, that's brilliant. Nice. Yeah, these are for you, look. They've even got your favourite sweets. 
Ah, grumpy old git humbugs out. Oh, that's real. that's hilarious, Mazzy. <laughs> I that's thought so. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Go home. <laughs> so we're back at the old bank because Mazzy says we didn't film it very well yesterday. It didn't come up very well because we were too far away from it. <laughs> I'm just going to show you some of the art on the sides. It is incredible. I don't know, it's quite high up is that, I don't know how well it's picking it up, but that is lovely. It's still a bank, HSBC. I'm sure they're loving the fact that I'm filming inside the windows. <laughs> Banks love that. <laughs> you can film publicly anywhere actually. You certainly can. If you're out in public and you don't want to be on camera, don't step in front of my camera. <laughs> Montpellier Contemporary Art. Just seen these two paintings, they're so vibrant. Yeah, they're really actually really, nice. Really, really nice, they? especially that one. That's like your seaside macro um, fish baits type. Do you want thing. to know what that's called? Go on. No boots today. No. I think they're getting at the boot shop, you know, trying to say there's no co commercialised shop. Oh, okay. I think that's what it's trying to say. So that one is, what, £675? £875, darling. This is only 270 Mazzy. Yeah, that's not bad. Same size. I'll have three of these instead. Yeah, come down here, look. I like this ornament. Now I know it's just an ornament. I think I you're crazy. It unusual. I think you're crazy. Look Why? at that. You have to capture it on the side because it's flat. It's weird. It's £180. It's cheaper than your painting you want. Yeah, but it's a lot smaller. It's all about size, Mazzy. Size. That's what's important when it comes yeah. to art. The bigger, the better. Yeah. Tell you what you've got to keep your eye out for today, Mazzy. Yeah, what? Um, half price Valentine's Day meals. <laughs> it's day after now, they'll, they'll be trying to sell them off. <laughs> Get them off cheap. <laughs> you look so cheap. I'm hungry. <laughs> we were here yesterday. Yeah, this is the one that's had a lot of, uh, what's the word? Words. Renovation. Renovation. Going on, restoration. Yeah. It's yeah. the Falcon. Um, we were literally stood right here and we never saw no, this yesterday. No, that's what we're saying, yeah. <laughs> the Falcon Inn. So, you know, this is a, a stone, a black stone, put into the ground, Stafford upon Haven, historic spine. I like this, I do like it when they go to this trouble. It wasn't until the 1930s they re-exposed all this beaming, actually. Really? It was, it was yeah, it was all like, um, just plaster on it, basically. Yeah. Imagine hiding that. You know, it's beautiful. It could be wine out, needs a lot of work. Don't know. Maz is obsessed with this place. She wants to go in the Tudor world, experience the past place. Come and have a look up here, though, it's wonderful. Is it open? Are you sure it's open? Yes. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, what they do, there's like a Tudor museum inside there, or you can have like ghost story experience of an evening in there. Excellent. Okay. Well, so, well, have you seen up the alleyway? Oh wow! Yeah, that looks special. We'll look into that. And it's cheap as well. It's actually quite cheap. I'm Excellent. not sure if I picked up the right leaflets. We'll have a good look at that. Yeah. Well, we see over a here. drink. <laughs> we managed to get in today. We couldn't get in yesterday. The Golden Bee Weatherspoons. Uh, we have got in today. The only thing I'm mad about. I'm not happy with Weatherspoons at the moment because they don't do John Smiths anymore. Which disgusts me, I'll be honest. That's still less than two pound a pint. Oh yes. That makes him happy. Hello. Hello. So because of that I'm on Worthington's. Yeah. £1.99 though. One pound ninety nine. Can't go wrong. Just been recognised. <laughs> yeah. Man in the doorway knows who we are. Yeah. <laughs> this is something Mazzy thought Weatherspoons weren't very good for the history and things. Well, you know when you go into parks, it's all commercial, isn't it? The pictures, the plaques, it's the same, you know. But you tell me they do have a lot of history in Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons the are brilliant. If it's a historic yeah. building or there's any history in the town, they'll let you know about it in pictures and things such as this. And these are all over the place, so I'm going to be reading through a few of these. Yeah. That's telling well, you about I, the town hall. I do find the building hasn't got the same character inside as it has outside. No. It has been overly but it renovated. Is, it's still beautiful outside. <laughs> yeah. Parking. Yeah. 
What about our parking? How much it costs? We keep giving false information. Well, it's not false information, but you found something out today, didn't you? Yeah, if you've got a blue badge, a disabled badge, you can actually stay in the motorhome spaces for free. Up to 20, uh, 72, 72 hours, hours. Which is three nights. Three nights. Amazing. Uh, how did we find last night? So we was the only at motorhome, which was... Nightmare. Uh, there was quite a few lorries. Yeah, I didn't mind the lorries at all. Everyone was fine, weren't they? It's right next to one of these pop-up COVID test centres and they've got generators right next to where the motorhomes are and, lights. and they're loud. And lights all night, 24 well, the, hours. The lights don't bother us, do they? Uh, I don't you know. You can't see them with the shutters down. Well, I don't know. But the noise of the generator is very annoying. We've decided we're getting fish and chips today. Absolutely. I've been craving this. Cotton um, chips. It's cash only, <laughs> but if we'd have actually looked, there's about a thousand signs saying cash only. Is there? Yeah. Is we just there? didn't look. Oh, yeah, they're all over the place. Cash oh, only. I see, yeah. Anyway, fish and chips today. Yeah, and they're done, there's a good deal, so. <laughs> Can't wait. Good morning. Good morning. It's the next day. It certainly is. We're just walking up. This used to be the old tram line. A bridge going across the River Avon there. Yep. Um, We've just completed a trail walk. Yeah, like a heritage trail along the riverside. It was amazing. Go back to Fantastic. yesterday. Fantastic. Oh no, it'll be on tomorrow's video, won't it? It'll be tomorrow's or yesterday's, yeah. one of the two. But wonderful, wonderful. Yep. <laughs> um, it's very busy today, there's a lot of people around. It is, yeah. A lot. But that's because of the temperature. It is 13 degrees today and everyone's come out to play. Yeah. But speaking to a few of the locals, they're all saying it's completely different in summer. It's rammed. You can't Heaving. move. Yes. And I can believe every word of that. Because we actually had a lovely chap come by uh, to our band this morning, Richard. Yeah. Thank you for saying hello. And he, he was telling us a few little bits and pieces, wasn't mm -hmm. he? Um, so, yeah, if I was coming here, I personally, I'd like to come in s spring. Now? Or now's autumn. a nice time. What's now? Is it winter? Well, we're coming up to spring, aren't we? Oh, spring, yeah. Um, do be warned, if you come in summer, it's going to be rammed. And especially if you're coming in a motorhome. Yeah, you probably won't get a space, although there is a lot of spaces, but you probably won't get one. You'd, have to, you'd be lucky. You'd be lucky. Yeah. But yeah, wonderful, wonderful place. Right, we don't know what we're going to be doing today. We're just going back to the van now. Yeah, let's head back to the van, get a drink, relax for five minutes and head into town. It's our yes. last day here. It is. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Quick stop at one of Dan's favourite places in the world. Tourist information. Yeah. This, this is where we got his map from yesterday. Yeah. And it does mention the historic spine trail, so I'm going to ask him if he's got a leaflet on that as well, just for a look. All right, I'll wait outside for you. Okay. No? No. Well, he was busy talking to somebody. Oh. I looked at them all. There isn't any of that. I'm sure that. the information is available online, isn't it? I think, <clears throat> from what I was seeing, I think... Uh, they might have had leaflets, but they're out of them because there was quite a few empty gaps near these oh, leaflets. Oh, I see, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, I'm sure it's online as well. I'll still have to look it up. Well, let's be real anyway. We do really have done another walk. Well, not a walk. Says it all, doesn't it? I'd have done a heritage trail. It's a walk. I don't know then. Probably not. <laughs> Right, so we're not eating out in uh, Stratford anymore. No. <laughs> Starting to become a very expensive place for us, um, but it's been worth it. It's been worth it. It's a great place if you want to eat out, though. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we've just been to Max and Spencer's and got ourselves a uh, sandwich each. We love m &S anyway, don't we? I bought my first s salad <laughs> in a long, 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 long time. It's getting between all these kids. And you got hoisin duck wrap. I got I know, yeah, a duck um, wrap. Feta and all that wrap. Yeah, pesto. Yes, yeah, so we're out and about again. Do we need to cross over? I think we, we do. We actually do. Yes. This is our last day here. So we're not well, not doing a lot really, are we? No, chilling out. A <laughs> last drink. Yeah. It's very, very busy today. Very busy. 
That's the Costa Coffee I was on about yesterday. Your way. No, it's you're okay. Right. You're getting our way as much as you like. Professional <laughs> job there. Uh, Costa Coffee. Yeah. I was saying how lovely and old that is. Yes. It's not. It wasn't built till the 19, 1924. 1924. But they've they've given it the old look to try and make it look like so the it's rest. Fake. It's fake. I've got it. Costa Coffee is a fake building. Well, it looks it still looks nice, doesn't it? You'd never know, would you? No, well, I do now. Well, you do, but you didn't yesterday. As all as viewers know, it's a fake <laughs> building, Mazzy. We stood outside, by the way. This is Shakespeare's daughter's house again. Yeah. Uh, and I never noticed this the other day. That's what it would have looked like. It's changed a bit. Pebble, pebble dashed it, haven't they? Covered up all the beans. Yeah. That's such a shame. The reason I'm looking at this, it's, it's this historic spine. Um, we have been online this afternoon. Yes. Because that's what I was looking for a, a leaflet, leaflet for earlier. Yeah, and it, spine trail. If you just go type it in online, it tells you all about all the different buildings, every single one of them. So that's how I know about Costa. Maybe I'll have a couple more facts as we're walking down. Yeah, I've done my leg in now. We've actually done an awful lot of walking since we got to Stratford, haven't we? Mm. Um, You've done very well. Let's just yeah, hope if it does it's, go, it's, it's not going to be bad. It's taking its toll now. <laughs> but we are off on a campsite for a couple of days after yes. uh, starting tomorrow, so we can relax a bit then, can't we? We've done as week's work. Yeah, yeah. So we're walking down High Street, and apparently there were a lot of fires here in the past. It was all destroyed pretty much. Uh, in 1594 and 1595, two fires. What, in the same building or...? Yeah, on the street. Oh, on the nearly street. Every, nearly every building was destroyed. Oh, no! But the one building which wasn't destroyed... Yeah. ...is this one we stood under at the moment. Uh, three gables or something it's got. It's got three... Is this the one? Oh, it's there, look. Yeah. That is original. That's from well before the 1500s which wasn't destroyed. It's such a shame, isn't it? But it's probably no wonder, really. To um, be honest, every time we come to a place like this, I'm constantly reading about fires, even yeah, in Bury St Edmunds, where yeah. you're from, because there were all these wooden buildings. And open fires as well, weren't they? Should yeah, we move open on? fires. It's too noisy again. I know. Lorries are really doing our heads in today. Three times they've spoiled this video clip. Okay, quick drinking uh, weather spoons. Yeah. You do meet nice. you do meet some characters, yes, don't you, Mazza? Yes. Apparently, I just met William Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. And his friend, he had a QR code on his arm, and if he scanned it, it played uh, "You'll Never Walk Alone," the Liverpool yeah. anthem. He's a Liverpool fan. Yeah. So I liked Brilliant. that. Yeah. The guy was an absolute lunatic, but uh, I did <laughs> like that. He was alright. Having fun. Yeah, we're just walking through the town. Oh, more noise. It's the same lorry. <laughs> it's been a good day. We're home now. We've got the coffees on the go. And this is actually our evening meal. So this is what Dan was talking about earlier. He's got hoisin duck wrap. He's got this M&S tuna sweet corn pasta salad. Health. Health. Yeah, he's wanting to feel a little bit healthy today, believe it or not. I've got this mozzarella and pasta, mozzarella and pasta, uh, pesto, not pasta, pasta wrap, uh, pesto, I've said it again, pesto wrap, this is one of my favourites that M&S actually does, I've grabbed a Cornish pasty, I know I shouldn't be eating it, hey ho, uh, four cheese and onion crisps, and uh, we tried these actually today, didn't we, Asian barbecue pulled pork we're sharing them yeah it's gonna be like a little sharing platter really isn't yeah, it? yeah but when you when you serve my my portion mazzy yeah uh, can i want them like that what a stack up like yeah a stack of them not gonna happen a stack anymore. of them and a stack of them yeah <laughs> next to my health you you're the actually feeling quite healthy today let's be real i'm not feeling healthy but i want to eat healthily yeah, I think we've had so much rubbish. We're both wanting a little bit of help today. I also bought something else very special today. Oh, we're not going into that yet. No, you have to come back to a future vlog 
but I've started a new hobby. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. coming soon. Right, so we have finished Stratford up on Avon. We sure have. So we're going to do a little roundup of it in a moment. Yeah. Um, but before we do, a few thanks to give. Richard Dobson, thank you very much for becoming a new family member. Thank you, Richard. Uh, thank you to James Pirry and Caroline, Caroline Dunn for becoming new patrons. Thank you, James and Caroline. Thank you very much. And thanks to Lee Lineker and Mark... Oh, uh, dear. <laughs> thank you, Lee and thank Mark. Thank you very much. Mark um, wanted us to go to the Shakespeare's birthplace, but we'd already left... Well, well, we've left today. We've left this morning, yeah. so we couldn't... <laughs> Um, yeah. I think it was closed yesterday when we went past it. Could um, have been. The day before it might <laughs> have been open, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. We couldn't get there, which was a shame. And thank you to Tracy Bourne for the email uh, mentioning Creepy Cauldron, saying it's a very haunted place to go. It you looked it good. up, and yeah. she thinks it's where the Christmas, the Christmas shop, shop was. And the reviews haven't been a review for about three or four years, so it looks like it's shut yeah. down. Yeah. Which is a shame. So I couldn't find Thank nothing you very on much. that. But we've left there now. We have. So <laughs> we were there Monday, Tuesday, when, well, three full days. Three days. No, we much. were there three nights. Three nights, three days. So it was three days. Three days, right, okay. 72 hours. <laughs> so, um, but we got, I don't know how many videos, one, two, three, about five videos. I'd say more. I'm not sure. I'd say more. It definitely feels like more than three days there, 72 hours, yeah. don't it? Yeah, we've, <laughs> we've been at it solidly for them three, yes. three days. And we loved it, didn't we? Absolutely. Highly, 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 absolutely. Loved it, highly recommend. Definitely. <laughs> um, it's especially if you have got a motorhome, just pay the £30, yes. like where we did. £30, three nights, and I think three yeah. nights is about the right amount of time to yeah. see to You're see gonna it have a well. good time. There was so much more for us we could have done there. Yeah. We could have spent another seven days, let's say, there. There were at least um, three more museums we could have gone to. Yeah. Um, which were closed unfortunately, but it was just amazing, wasn't it? I can't sum it up enough mm. if I'm honest. We didn't have the <laughs> chance to, to test out all the lovely restaurants and they did look incredible. They did, yes. It was just, yeah, everything. Everything you could everything possibly want. Everything. For any kind of a person, there was children there, there was old people, there was... It was just it, something there for everybody, wasn't there? There certainly was. Yeah. So, yeah, Stratford upon Avon, get yourself there. Yeah, loved it. Out of all the... Uh, top towns we've been to. I think that's his third. That's now top of our list at the moment. Yes, definitely with, number one. I think we've got Stafford in second place and Saffron Walden in third place, yes. haven't we? But that cake, that does actually come in on 23rd place. Yeah, on the, on the official Google, On the official list. And list. we are shocked. Yes, it's better than that. Absolutely, yeah. Um, anything else to say about the place? Just brilliant. As we said, <laughs> you can park free if you have a disabled badge. Yep. You could stay there for up to 72 hours for free. Um, toilet facilities. I do want to mention that, actually. Some people are like me. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Yeah, they there were toilets everywhere. toilets everywhere. Now, some towns, you don't get that. Mm. So, very, very impressed with that. Mm. We want to go back again and try it in summertime, don't we? It'll be hard. I think it's yeah. all about whether you can get in one of them motorhome parking spaces. Yeah, there's and there's about nine. eight of them. There's nine. Nine, is there? Yeah, nine if, spaces. If you get in one of them, you're sorted for three days then, yes. aren't you? Yes, yes. Uh, it's just about getting there, I'd say about 11 o'clock in the morning when people have just left from the night before. Yeah, because bear in mind, it's £20 for one night. Now, if you stay the free nights, it's £30. That's cheaper than some campsites. Yeah. Some campsites. You don't get any facilities, no. but you're in the centre pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just overall very good. It's somewhere I would highly recommend. Yeah. I know my mother likes to go to places like this. We'd already said that your mum yeah. would love it. If anyone just wants a weekend away, that is a great yes. place to pick. And there Lots is a of lot of hotels. hotels. Lots yeah. of hotels. Yeah. yeah. 
I had everything. <laughs> the people there was amazing as well. The people there were generally lovely yeah. people, wasn't they? Yeah, we had quite a few people come up to us and who recognised yeah. us as well. Yeah. Uh, there was some actually I forgot to mention here. A bus driver came over. Yeah, the bus driver. <laughs> that was Richard and Liz, I think that was. Liz and Graham. Oh, Graham. Liz and Graham, sorry. Um, they've offered <laughs> for us a park up in Henley, if we're ever in Henley. So yes, thank you very much. thank you for that. And Graham was a bus driver in the same car park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he came over and had a chat with us, so thank you, Graham, and thank you, Liz, for the thank offer. Thank you both, yes. <laughs> uh, downside, I've only got one, and that was the traffic. Very busy. If I've only got one downside, I, uh, once you were in the town, it wasn't too terrible. Oh, it was. I don't know. It was loud. Was it? With all the lorries going through, it was loud. It was, I'll tell you what it was, it was such a surreal place, you wanted to keep that peace there, didn't you? Yeah. There is parts, you know, when you go on the river walk, you yeah, can get the peace. Yeah, you can't hear nothing on that. Yeah, there's plenty of places to go if you want the peace. Yeah. But the actual town centre, as, and people were telling us in summer it's a nightmare. Yeah. The traffic is pretty bad, but apart from that, it No, I've got everything. one downfall. Yeah, go was on. Was the parking spot with uh, the COVID centre straight behind us? Was the generators? The I'm sorry to say yeah. this, but it was noisy. The COVID testing centre had yes. their generator on 24-7 and it was yeah. very noisy. But apart from that, in that particular car park, I felt safe. No Gary boys, nothing like that. They don't no. go in there. No. No. Um, yeah, if you do go there this before the COVID test centre, whilst that's still there, try and park in numbers Number one, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, it's when you're at the other end, you can really hear the generator. So yeah. try and stay to the left if you're in a motorhome. Yeah. I don't think we've spent this amount of time talking about a town yet, have we? No. We are just so impressed. We are. <laughs> so now we are off onto a campsite, yes, aren't we, for a couple campsite, of nights. Uh, uh, do a bit of editing, empty as toilets, fill up the with van. water, fix yeah. the van, and just relax for a day. Just uh, yeah. have some well, nice You food. say relax, we're still filming, we're still editing, we've still got lots of work to do. Yeah, but at least it's in the van and we can yeah. chill out a bit, can yeah. we? We must have walked miles them three days. Yes, Because yes. we were in and out of town, like, all the time, weren't mm. we? Mm. <laughs> so, yes, uh, Stratford-upon-Avon Stratford Stratford is done. Hope you enjoyed that one. Yeah. We'll catch you at the next. Is it a good uh, worst place or is it a best place? You'll have to come back mm. and find out. Come back tomorrow. Probably. Bye. If, if not, I don't know which day this is going on. It might be that we're live tomorrow. We're live on Sunday anyway, so don't miss that at four o'clock. Yeah. See you all later. Bye. Bye from Stratford-upon-Avon. Go on, you do it.